All right, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the um, Badger Airbrushes uh, 155 Anthem. Uh, most <clears throat> most reviews go uh, go through the uh, how to take them apart and clean them, but I'm going to show you uh, what I like about them, good features on them. First of all, it's one of the more basic packages that uh, Badger has to offer. Um, one uh, one thing you will notice it it has a chrome plating over all the parts. Um, which actually looks very nice and also helps it uh, be uh, um, keep it clean. It's very easy to clean. Um, the uh, the Anthem is a siphon fed, so that means it has a uh, bottle that fits right into here, um, and basically it it, uh, it pulls uh, pulls the paint through that. Um, it it's a du it's a dual action, so basically you control both the paint and um, and the air with this. So basically you press down for air and you pull back for uh, paint. Um, the t the needle is actually a dual tapered needle, so you can do fairly fine lines. In addition to doing um, doing a wide coverage, such as up, they say pencil thin up to three inches. Um, it has a cutaway here, um, all the way through. Basically, that helps you um, pull the needle back manually if you need to, you know, clear clear the nozzle or anything like that. That makes it really handy for if you're in the middle of something and can't, you know, don't want to dismantle the whole thing for a small clog. Um, Everything on this is is what's called hand tight by Badger. So basically, it requires no tools to uh, to dismantle other than um, an Allen wrench for for the uh, for the air connection. Um, the features of this is really nice. the uh, The trigger is very nice and smooth. Um, it also has an adjustable trigger on it, so basically you can adjust the tension whether you want it um, a little more firm, a little more uh, softer. Um, but it's a very smooth trigger. Um, it has a needle that comes out the back. Um, as sure as you've noticed, so basically it pulls out the back here. Um, some of the some of the <clears throat> problems that I've had with this brush is the tip here is uh, is the needle is not protected, so you can prick yourself pretty bad on it. Um, and also, it's easier to damage the the needle. Um, also, um, one thing I've experienced is when holding it like this, your uh, the uh, the needle truck gets uh, caught on your hand. So basically, I've just kind of turned it like that. So. It rests like that. Um, other than that, it's a very, very simple brush um, to use. Um, good for a fa fairly decent detail to fairly good, good coverage. I bought it off of Am off, off of a website that contained the brush, the cap, as you see here, uh, a uh, two paint cups, and uh, and a braided. Uh, I believe it's a four foot line. Uh, for a really good price of about eighty eighty dollars, so it's really good getting into. Um, it puts down a fairly good coat, like um, this tank here. I built built with it, as you can see, the paint's fairly smooth, and this is just one one quick coat. Um, it's a really good airbrush. Um, it's a good starter, good good getting into, and it feels really good in your hand. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed my video. Thank you.